What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, reviewing today Duke Nukem Megaton Edition on the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation Vita. This may not be the Duke Nukem you know, this is the 90s Duke Nukem, so it's a little bit different style. It's pretty much an updated version of the PC classic on modern day consoles. Not really a full remaster, so much as a modern tech release. This game will have you running across sandy beaches, tipping strippers, finding secret walls, checking every corner for hitting switches, and killing more monsters than you can shake a long stick at. This this is a classic shooter, so it's kind of a more hide-and-seek style of gameplay. Every level has a lot of funny enemies to kill, but it also has a lot of keys and a lot of puzzles that you will have to find to progress, and you may not even know it's a puzzle until you see the solution. Many puzzles are almost so frustratingly difficult you'll find yourself running in circles until you notice there was that one tiny little knob on the back of a microwave that you missed on our first run-through. So what makes this really different from the classic Duke you may have played on Nintendo 64 or back in your PC in the 90s. Well, it's upscaled now, so it looks a little bit better, but not really a lot crisper. They tweak the controls a bit, which actually makes it a lot more inviting to newcomers. Everything feels like it's sped up to a great degree, and I really like what they tried to do. They also included all the original expansion packs from Duke Nukem 3D. The mechanic that has changed the most that I am absolutely in love with is the respawn system. When you die, and trust me, you will die a lot, you get a bar that appears here's the top of the screen, and then you get to slide it along kind of like you're toggling a video. This is you selecting the part of the level you want to respawn in. Consider it as one long videotape's been recording since you entered the level, and you're choosing the moment you want to come back to life. Want instant vengeance on that quick draw you just lost? Respawn outside the door and blow Porky the Pig into the next world. Feel like you've been wasting ammo? Respawn closer to the start of the level and try and find more areas with bullets. This respawn system is really awesome and I love it so much, especially after all modern day shooters where your guy just kind of heals after a few seconds. To have a classic style shooter where dying means something, where every bullet actually hurts, and you'll find yourself respawning out a door so many times, time after time, just trying to get that one extra little bullet into your enemy. I would say the biggest drawback of this game though is pacing. You'll have flurries of action, darting in and out of rooms, picking up crazy weapons, shrinking people and vaporizing them, only to be followed by by five minute stretches where you're trying to find a key to a door and then sometimes you just end up pressing a random action button against a wall that opens up a secret patch that skips all of it. So much of this game doesn't really hint you in the way you need to go. It's kind of a big sandbox and you're just kind of expected to figure it out through hell high water and to just test everything. They also brought back the classic multiplayer from the original Duke Nukem 3D. Although I can't tell you if it works because it's completely busted. I assume that it works, you know, if the servers would come up. I've tried four games, every single game we were unable to complete. I would run around a little bit, I'd hit a humongous latency wall, and the next thing I know, I'm back at the very start. It worked slightly better on the PlayStation Vita, as did the controls. Overall, I thought the Vita was programmed maybe a little bit more efficiently than the PlayStation 3 version. Overall, the game is perfect for 90s shooters fans or people who are wanting to try a more retro game in the modern era. I highly recommend on the Vita because that pickup and play style really fits this speedy gameplay a lot better in these 5 to 30 minute stints instead of actually sitting down at home and trying to play for hours and hours at a time. Let's go over to the ratings board. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give Duke Nukem Megaton Edition on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita a 7.5 out of 10. Updated resolution doesn't bring this game up to date as much as you would hope, and of all the old school shooters to bring back, this just seems like the weirdest choice. We could have had Master Blaster, or Quake 3 Arena, or all these other solid titles, or hey, you know what, I wouldn't mind if we brought back Unreal Tournament even if it was an HD remake. But instead, we got the Duke. So tip some strippers, piss off some feminists, and have some fun, guys. This has been Dreamcast Guy. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. But as always, keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends. They also block back.